My name is Farid Yassin. I am the Iraqi climate envoy, uh, dealing with uh, climate change and the way in which uh, Iraq can contribute to the uh, worldwide effort against climate change. Now, why are we doing this? Well, climate change is an existential problem for Iraq, and for two reasons. The first is a direct impact of climate change that we're seeing firsthand across the world uh, through increased temperature, through floods, through uh, increased uh, storms, through uh, at some point perhaps rise of uh, uh, water levels. Um, and so we have to address that. But in addition to that, as the world uh, confronts the threat of climate change by decarbonizing, by reducing its, its carbon imp imprint and getting rid of its addiction to uh, oil and gas, we will suffer because we are an oil producing country. So we have to work on two different fronts. The first is to work on addressing the threat of climate change by doing what's needed in terms of reducing gas flaring, um, um, introducing new technologies, uh, but also in terms of strengthening our own response to climate change by adapting to it through uh, technologies like agriculture that is well suited for arid environments, uh, housing that can be temperature resistant, modern uh, villages that are climate smart, but also by changing our economy so that we can sustain it by diversifying and not being so tied up to the hydrocarbon uh, industry. Most uh, oil producers are looking to use carbon to uh, act actually uh, use it as a feedstock for a number of, of, of industries. And there's a precedent for that. In the 1970s, a uh, case in point, very successful one was Saudi Arabia. They started uh, capturing flared gas, using it to produce electricity in order, instead of burning oil. But that provided them with a feedstock for a whole host of new uh, economic activities and led to, I think, the emergence of companies like uh, Sabic, which you know, produce value and, and improve the trade balance of the, uh, of the kingdom. And there's nothing really preventing us from trying to, uh, to do that, and we should. There is a whole new market out there, and it, it, it is really very promising. Uh, in the case of Iraq, though, this is something that is new. A full disclosure, we're actually slow to pick this up. Most countries uh, started participating in the global effort to combat climate change already in 1992 when the convention was uh, initiated. Uh, Iraq joined in 2009 uh, for reasons I don't want to get into, but we're starting with, with, with a backlog. And so uh, the really good thing about uh, this is now, now there is a very strong commitment, even at the highest levels of the Iraqi government, to deal with this issue. And in fact, uh, at his recent speech at the uh, United Nations uh, General Assembly, um, the Prime Minister launched an initiative calling for you know, closer cooperation on this issue between us and our neighboring countries.